What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't done already, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that like button. In this video, I'm gonna be discussing common trailer wiring and light issues. After watching this video, you're gonna be able to know what the wires do each color and how to quickly troubleshoot and diagnose any issues you may have and that will make you be able to fix the problem very quickly. So let's get started. So one of the most common issues you may have is your brake lights are not working on your trailer. You can see the brake lights are working on the vehicle and we have a brake light on right here. No brake light on the left. And right here we have the right blinker on and our right light is working. Left side blinker is on and left side brake is not working on the trailer. Now we have the running lights, which are the dim lights. And as you'll notice, the light is on right here. And notice how it is a little brighter. These are two different style lights. This is an LED light, but the running lights are on. And when the running lights are on, if you have any of these indicators, like the yellow lights on the side, I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but that light is on. But on the other side, our light is not working on this side. So now after testing all the lights, I know what issue I need to solve. And if you understand the color codes of the wires and where they go, you'll know where to look. Okay, so we're gonna use uh, for this video, a flat four plug connector. There's five plugs, there's flat five, round five, round seven, those uh, trailers may have brakes and other things but this trailer here most common trailer uh, you guys may have is a flat four plug and after this video if you have one of those other plugs this will help you diagnose the problem as well so first let's understand what these common wires are if you have a flat four plug connection your trailer does not have brakes okay uh, white wire that's going to be the ground the brown wire are the running, that's the running lights on both sides of the trailer. And that includes those yellow marker lights that I pointed out. That's what powers those lights. The yellow wire is for two things, left brake and left turn. So it's brighter. It's the one that's getting more power. It uses the same wire for the left turn and the left brake. The green wire is the same way, but for the right side, right turn and right brake. So when you're having an issue with a light not working, it could be either the bulb, the wire, or the vehicle may not be sending power to that plug. And we're gonna, I'm gonna show you in this video how to solve that. So once I saw that the running light, it was turning on, the, the bulb was working with the turning light, I mean, I'm sorry, the running light, I know that part of the bulb is working. There's two uh, filaments in that bulb. There's one for the running light and one for the brake light. There's one that's brighter. I'll show you that in a moment. So it could be a bulb issue or a wiring issue. Now, once I knew that the brake light didn't work, I know the turn signal is not going to work. Because again, it's sharing the same wire, that yellow wire, or it could be the filament in that bulb is burned out for the turn signal or the, or, and the brake light. So when you get a plug like this, you're gonna have a yellow and brown wire running all the way down to the pigtail in the front. And on the right side, you'll have a brown and, and green wire running all the way down the, the, the trailer. But I know I have a couple of issues on this trailer. It could be two bulbs. It could be the brake light bulb not working on this side and the uh, side marker light bulb, or I may have two different wiring issues. I could have a wiring issue with this yellow wire. Not, not, it may be broken somewhere, not getting power to this light. And I could also have a brown wire issue that's not marking that uh, yellow light. Uh, it could be the bulb. Again, it could be the vehicle. Now, there have been times where people bring me trailers 
and they'll say, hey, the trailer works fine on my one truck, but it doesn't work on this truck. So they bring me the trailer. And I said, there's, there's nothing wrong with the trailer then. If it's working good on one vehicle, but the other vehicle it's not, it's something wrong with that other vehicle most likely. Uh, and just like in this case, if I hook up to another trailer and my vehicle powers that trailer perfectly fine, that I know my vehicle wiring harness is working fine, then I'll hook up to this trailer and it's not working, I know it's something wrong with the trailer. So before we dig into solving this issue, whether it be a wiring problem or a bulb issue and, and the other issue with the side marker light, let me tell you about one of the most common issues I see. No lights are working, nothing's working on the trailer check your ground connection so when you plug your connection in that white wire one of the most common issues is the ground connection is bad and actually this this trailer had this issue last year and i put a new wire in new clean um, connector here so if you have a bad ground nothing's going to work on that trailer so first thing i would check if you have your uh, bulb not working Check the bulb. Be real careful taking these out. All right, guys. So both of our filaments are good, or they at least they look good in this bulb. And I'm going to show you a quick little hack of how to test this bulb really quick without having to break out a battery and a bunch of wires and everything. So the way it works is this is the ground. This is how the um, light is ground. And one of these is going towards the brighter, the bigger, fatter filament there for the turn signal and the brake. And the other one is going for the running light, the dimmer light. So I've got actually the um, running lights on right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to touch the collar here to this ground. And I'll show you a close up in a moment, but you can see those two strips right there. One is for the brake and one's for the running light. So um, I'm going to touch the running light wire to test both of these filaments in this bulb. So this is the one, this is brown wire here. So I'm having to touch the collar to this ground plate right here to get a good ground. And then I'm making contact. Sorry that my hand's in the way. And that's the running light. And I'm going to flip it around to the other side and see if I can get the brake light to come on and see how bright it is right now. So the bulb is good and I know the ground, we already knew that the ground wire was making good connection. But for some reason we have a brake in this brake light wire somewhere. So it's not getting power either from the vehicle or there's a brake somewhere in the wiring. So here's a closer look of what I was doing right there. I was touch. This is the wire that's not working. It's not going to shock you. Um, this one will. I'm I'm sorry. This one it won't shock you, but this one's working. But these bulbs do burn out. They burn out so often that I do carry a spare set in my vehicle anytime I'm pulling a trailer. All right guys, so that's just a trick you can do, but the best way to do it is either using a multimeter or a test light. So I'm gonna show you real quick. So I'm gonna put the ground, you need to have a good clean ground, so I'm just gonna use the ground plate right here. And is, the reason it may not have worked with the light is that wire might be a little corroded, just might not be making a good contact uh, with the light right here. It could be a connection here. So you just want to confirm before you start going crazy with everything else. So I'm going to touch the wire and it's actually working. The brake light is actually, I got the brake lights on the vehicle right now. And I'm going to touch this plate. You guys can't see it probably in the video um, because it's so bright out here, but the light is working. Let me show you on the multimeter. That'll be easier for me to show you guys. So there must be a connection issue inside of the light housing right here and probably what i could do to fix this issue is take the little band right there and pull it out to where it's making a better contact with the bulb since we do know the bulb is good already 
but you just gotta you gotta be patient and eliminate the issue so if we were to go test if, if it wasn't working here I would go up and test the vehicle confirm that it's good on off of the vehicle and then I know it's somewhere between the, the trailer plug and here and you would just start testing uh, they are sending power so with the multimeter let's turn it over to 12 volts uh, DC vehicles run on direct current and so we're getting 12.22 so we're getting power actually to the strip so that tells me there's no doubt that the strip is not making contact with the bulb so what i'm going to do since the this already has broken right here plus it's not doesn't match the other light the other lights at led and i would just go ahead and replace that with a new light but I came over here to look at this one and it's already kind of broken. So I'm just gonna charge them for a new light kit. And I know the wiring's good, everything's good. But next, let's discuss this side marker light. We might need to replace that as well. So same process with this. First, I'm gonna check the bulb. Yeah, that filament is broken, but real quick I'm gonna to check to make sure that we're getting power so I'm gonna turn on now you can ground right here that's that's the ground but the light itself may not be getting a good ground because it grounds a lot of time a lot of these will ground by bolting it to the frame so what I've already done is I took my grinder and I got a good uh, fresh contact right here on the frame and I got the lights on and we're getting power to the light right there. Now let's check for continuity on the uh, ground side. So this other little part of this uh, bulb is the ground. So I wanna make sure that I'm getting power over there to that one. So I'm gonna switch over here to continuity. if you guys can hear that so I know that we have both good ground and power uh, for that for that bulb it just needs a new bulb basically and this light will be fine all right guys so uh, for this video instead of just replacing the bulb I'm actually gonna put a brand new LED uh, light in here now this one has a separate ground wire so I'm gonna have to put like a self tapper screw into the frame or you can tie it into the ground wire if it comes back but chances are it doesn't so that's why they have this little um, connector there where you can drill a hole or use a little self tapper drill into the frame to the ground to, to ground it and this will be hooked up to the brown wire that's coming on this side so I'm gonna do that now Right, guys so I have the wire soldered now that it's cool I can slide the heat shrink down on here and just use a lighter to heat shrink it I have never had an issue after soldering all right so now all I need to do is hook up the ground wire and I went and even though I'm using a self tapping screw this material is pretty thick it's about 3 16 inch thick probably going to end up breaking off if I just try to self tap it so what I'm going to do is run a pilot hole first and I'm going to drill it from this side so my drill doesn't have to this light's not going to be in my way and now I'm going to turn the running lights on and you can see the lights working now I'm just going to remove the tail lights on both sides cut the wires down strip them prep them to be soldered and don't forget to put your heat shrink on before you solder those connections so here's the set of LED tail lights I got for this trailer so we have our left 
side that's got the license plate uh, lens there so you turn on the running lights and then it comes with the new bracket there for hanging the tail the, the uh, license plate and this one comes with a full harness and as you can see it has the brown wire on each side for the running lights so it's easier to run from uh, one side down the other side you got brown on each side unfortunately these have the white ground wire I'm gonna have to basically do the same thing I'm gonna have to add a little connector there and use a self tapper or bolt to bolt to the frame of the trailer and like I mentioned before I always like to solder wires I've never had a problem with my wiring after soldering them and using heat shrink I hate these wire nuts. They get corroded water in there, and eventually the connection's just gonna go away due to corrosion. So I'm gonna show you real quick a little trick on how to solder, and also I have another video, I'll put a link down in the description, kind of going in more depth and showing the advantages, the strength of soldering wires like this. Now once you have your wires cut to the right length, they're stripped, and you've got them twisted nice and tight, Get your soldering iron really hot, plug it up. Now once your soldering iron is hot enough, what you're gonna do is create a little puddle on the soldering iron. And I often see mistakes guys make. They sit there and they're trying to take the soldering iron without a puddle on the iron and touch the wire and they can't get it to work. So what you're gonna do is create a little puddle just on the iron first before touching the water. Basically making a pool and then it's going to be able to easily transfer that heat to the wire. And then you can just sink that solder right into the uh, braids of the wire. Here's a closer look at what I'm doing. See how I'm making a little pool of solder on the end of the iron. And that's going to help with the heat transfer. And then I can just pull it up and it's just going to sink right into that wire. Nice and easy. Then let it cool down before you slip the heat shrink down on it. All right guys, got the new lights installed, everything's working. I got the running lights on in addition to the hazard lights right now. And the hazard lights use the same wire as the brake and turn signal wires. So if they're working, you know that the brake and turn signal is gonna work. If they're not, is there would be something wrong with the vehicle not sending the power. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I really hope it helps you out if you're having wiring or lighting issues with your trailer. Remember, if the lights aren't working at all, I would definitely check that ground first. Um, it's either going to be your bulb uh, wiring issue, and as you saw there, it was a, actually a connection issue with the light bulb and that one light. Or you, ne you need to also verify that your vehicle is putting out the power from its plug. I'll have some videos showing, uh, I got one video showing the uses of a multimeter, how good it is to help diagnose wiring issues. Also I have a video demoing the strength of why I'd like to solder wires versus using wire nuts or crimp connections. I'll put that in the link uh, in the description down below. Check out my past videos, I got lots of videos showing repairs similar to this one. Um, also on a lot of the videos I'll have links affiliate links uh, showing products and tools and things that I use in the videos and it does give me a little bit of little bit of money you know a couple dollars here or there when you purchase something they don't the stores do not pay raise the price for you so it's at no price for you raise the price for you uh, the store is actually the one uh, that gives me that a uh, little bit of uh, commission for you using a link that I provide down in the description below so if you like this type of content, do me a favor, hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it already. I'll have more videos like this coming soon, guys. Thanks for watching.